My name's Sue Kay and I'm the Research Director for Cyber Physical Systems with CSIRO's Data61. I have a digital career because cyber physical systems is fundamentally how we get the digital world to interact with the physical world. We can get information about the world using things like robots, sensing systems, computer vision, and even cybernetics, which is where we combine the physical, digital, and the biological, and use that information and actually take action in the world so that we can solve some of the great challenges that are facing the human race. The term robotic vision is how you apply computer vision to robotics. It enables computers to be able to recognize information from either images or videos without having a person actually say what is going on in those images. When I was an undergraduate, I studied earth sciences and I specialized in isotope geochemistry. I moved gradually from being a research scientist more into research management and research commercialization. Eventually, when an opportunity came up for me to apply my skills in the area of robotics, it was something that I, I latched onto with both hands. I think many people have non-linear career paths nowadays. While my background is in science, I've always been fascinated by technology and the things that it can enable us to do. The thing that fascinated me about the field of robotics was watching the Star Wars movie when I was a child. Science fiction can open your mind to the range of possibilities that might be available in the future. The robots that we specialize in this lab are robots that walk on legs. We call them legged robots. They resemble insects or spiders. The movement of our robots is actually very similar to the way that a spider moves. This robot is called a hexapod because it has six legs. It was originally designed so that it could inspect small confined spaces like the inside of an aircraft wing. We use different designs for robots. In some instances, we might have robots that look very much like humans. You might have a robot that is on tracks, and commonly we see robots on wheels, and the most common example of that is a Tesla. I believe that robots can help us tackle some of the biggest problems that face our society, because once you train a robot and it knows how to do something, it can share that information with all other robots. If we can train robots that might help to protect the Great Barrier Reef, they can do things like help to plant new coral to help rejuvenate parts of the reef or clear it of all the crown of thorns starfish that are eating the reef. We have the potential to do that at scale and do something that we just simply can't do with humans alone. Digital skills are fundamental to designing all of our technologies and having a STEM background is, I believe, one of the key ways that you can make a difference. <laughs>